Well, looking at the channel statistics for the last couple of days, it would appear that my uh, footage and coverage on what's going on with that Greenwich branch of Aldi's with the old instalment app to come shopping here has kicked up a bit of a stink. Well, somebody sent me an email which has got some very interesting information in it. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad, not too bad, hope you are. Let me know in the comments below that you're well. Wow, have you seen what's happening with the channel and the views? I think yesterday or the day before that, I got something like 130,000 views in one day. That is absolutely incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support. Please continue to watch, share everything, make sure you're subscribed and interact, it's brilliant. Well, speaking of interaction, Oh, you like my change of scene, by the way. I thought I'd do a bit in the house. Well, speaking of interaction, uh, somebody sent me a message about what's going on with Aldi. Just to recap, and you can go and watch the video. Greenwich, they've got a shop and go. So you walk in, and there's a barrier. And you're met with signs saying you've got to install an app on your smartphone to go in, shop, and come out. People are going bananas about it. And I've upset a few people on Twitter. They don't like what I have to say. Anyway, I received this email from uh, a guy. I'm going to call him M to preserve his anonymity. And he basically said what he's done. He's uh, written to the chief executive of Aldi. And he implores other people to do it. Now, the chief executive of Aldi is called Giles Hurley. And uh, I'll put the email address for Mr. Hurley in uh, the description underneath. And this is what they've put. They've put, Dear Sir, I have today seen reports that Aldi is trialling a new entry system in some shops, whereby shoppers would need to download an app before they can even gain access to Aldi stores. As a customer of Aldi, now a former customer until this policy has been reversed, my only reason for going into the store is to make grocery purchases. I do not go into any store so that I have to download a spyware app on my phone before I can even get access through the front door. I would strongly suggest that Aldi does not proceed with this gross infringement of privacy unless it is looking to alienate a large portion of its customer base and lose a lot of revenue as a result. Customers have not asked for this and do not want it and I believe the old adage still holds true in retail. The customer is always right. Sincerely, M. Very valid point there with the old uh, problem with privacy. Somebody made a comment on the video as well. I can't remember their name, but they made it. And it was, you know, imagine all the advertising that you'll get thrown at you when you're trying to do your shopping. Oh, I'll buy that as well. Crazy, huh? Anyway, I'm off. Let me know what you think. I'll see you soon with one more. Toodaloo.